My name is Leo Tai. I'm the president of the MSU Breakdance Club. I've been breaking for about eight years now. I'm Kevin Richardson. Uh, I'm a junior. I'm the MSU Breakdance Club event coordinator. My name is Jesse Gear. Uh, I'm actually a senior. I'm one of the people who started it. Uh, our freshman year, we weren't official. Um, and it was me and a couple of my other friends. <laughs> There was a club before I came here. I transferred here from Wayne State, and they sort of died off. But I happened to run into a couple of people that were already here. They had an interest before me, and we got together and decided we wanted to make it official. So fall of 2007, we officially registered the organization. Um, it was kind of, for me, it was to use the space and to try and, you know, give people the opportunity to learn with us. Um, the thing was, we used to get kicked out of like all the IM buildings because nobody wanted us there. We used to like sneak into IM East and uh, use their spot, but um, we decided that we had enough of that. So we're, we took the steps to make a constitution and become an RSO and sign up with the IM Sports. And uh, so it just kind of one thing led to another, and it evolved into a real club. Uh, my goal with the group is to provide like a very open environment, open community where people can come chill, express themselves, learn how to dance, have fun, um, but also like better themselves. Uh, like breaking can teach you a lot that you can apply to real life, which a lot of people don't realize. Um, it's a lot of commitment, a lot of mental strength, and my goal is so that this club can stay, like will last, so that somebody, we're a very diverse group, so people from all kinds of backgrounds can come learn what hip hop is, but also learn how to become a stronger individual. The good thing about it is that any, anyone and everyone can do it. So it doesn't mean fat, skinny, old, young, whatever. Anyone can break dance. So I love break dancing. We call it b-boying, but popularized, they, people call it break dancing. Well, one of the awesome things about hip hop and b-boying is that it's pretty much defined by the individual. And b-boying, there's there's a lot of ego to b-boying. Um, I mean, we battle, so like, but at the same time, you sh you should be humble and like know where like where it came from. You know the history of where breaking originated. Um, you know, like if someone taught you something, you 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 know. You, you tell it, you explain, and you, you don't bite. Biting is when you steal someone's move. Like if you got a move, say where you, where you saw it, or say what inspired you to do that move. Uh, but yeah, b-boying is just the love of the dance, the love of the people, and the love of the hip-hop culture. That's sweet. For me, it's like a family atmosphere, and it's kind of a way to unwind. For me, it's a passion, so it's not like work to me. So this is kind of what I do. This is my hobby. You know, some people play, you know, games on the computer or whatever. This is what I do. Breakdance, I guess, would take make it more of a hobby. A b-boy is like a way of life. Um, it makes me stronger. Um, it makes me. It gives me the confidence to know that I can overcome obstacles. Oh God, it burns! You're always learning and, and, and breaking. So I'll apply like my work ethic, um, the fact that like I learn, like I work, I learn, and I grow with other people here. Like it's just the experiences that I gain, I can apply for my future. Self improvement. Um, it's something you can really put your mind to, and you can grow as a person as you're growing in the break dance art. And uh, it's something I really became passionate about because there's always a urge to get better. And you can really apply that to anything you're doing. That's what the club does. It unlocks people's potential. It gets rid of that I can't attitude. So, and like what we say around here is power through. I guess as far as I'm concerned is 
just allowing people to continue to do this year after year. I mean, even after we're gone and hopefully it will continue on. It would be nice if I could come back a few years down the line being an alum and have the club still be here, you know, and not have it die out. I guess the thing is, like, it was such a big influence for me on my life, like, allowing me to use this as an outlet. I would, my goal is to keep it going for future generations of students. Breaking, turn, breaking,